Hey, good morning, good morning, good afternoon, guys. It's your boy Rudy here. Bart is busy today, but I'm, he's going to join us in a little bit. He's just going to join us in a little bit. And um, there's something really quick that I really wanted to share today because so many times we have... Um, hey, Kevin. Thanks for jumping in. So many times we have so many things going on in our lives. You know, we, we love what we do. We love the family. We love our friends. We love whatever is going on, you know. But today there's something that I really wanted to share. I really wanted to share the attitude, you know, gratitude. Hey, Charles, Char, thanks, thanks for jumping in. Hey, Sam, thanks so much for jumping in, man. So there's something I really wanted to share today. I was really about gratitude. You know, showing appreciation to those who actually took care of you, to those who actually matter a lot about the things that we do. You know, to those who say, you know what, and they supported you when you really, when you needed them, when you really needed that support. I'm just gonna jump in here very quick for Bart. I think Bart wanna jump in. Uh, let me add Bart on the thing. Um, Bart is right here. Let me add Bart right now. Okay, Bart, come on. Hey, Peggy. Uh, let me add Bart. Bart wanna come online. Okay, I'm sending Bart the link right now. Let me see. Join the viewer. I'm gonna send you the link just a, few, a little bit. Hey, Martin, thanks so much for jumping in, man. <clears throat> hey martin sign thanks so much for jumping in. yeah so i think what i really wanted to share today was about you really appreciating those who took care of you you know really appreciating those who took care of you those who really say you know what i'm gonna be with you i'm gonna show you i'm gonna help you be whoever you want to become in your life you know and i heard about this story which really touched my heart a lot and i really wanted to share with you guys today and the story was actually about a young man who went to an interview. You know, he went to an interview, and the company where he, he actually went for the interview, the boss, uh, he did, you know, he passed all the different ranks, and he went, he met with the CEO. And the CEO asked him, hey, you have so much, so much academic accomplishment. Like, you went to Harvard, you went to all these higher institutions, but did, did you have a scholarship? He said, no. The next question, the, the, you know, the, the CEO asked, did your dad have some kind of, Pay your, your tuition? He said, no. He said, my dad died when I was six years old. So he said, but who paid for your tuition in Harvard? He said, my mom did. He said, what does your mom do? He said, my, my mom is a cleaner. He said, wow. Did your mom, have you, have you ever helped your mom in cleaning? He said, no. And the professor said, the, the, the CEO said, oh, wow. So did you ever, you, your mom, what did your mom do? Like, what did you do while your mom was cleaning? He said, my mom worked as a cleaner in helping people, you know, cleaning other people's home. She really encouraged me to read and study different books and go to school and be the, be the best version, version of myself. And the, the, the CEO said, wow, that's awesome. Did you ever look at your mom's hands? He said, no. The professor, then the CEO said, okay, show me your hands. The CEO saw his hands was clean, nice, nice and soft. And the CEO said, wow, so today, go home. Look at your mom, ask your mom's hands, clean your mom's hands, then come back tomorrow. Let's continue the interview. Before we jump on the lesson of that, I just want to add back real quick. But come on, great. Okay, but I'm adding you right now. Adding you, you should receive a notification. So, John, why, why are we trying to add Bart into the conversation? But there was something that I really wanted to share because what we learned, what this young man went home. He went home and actually went to his mom and asked mom, hey mom, I went to this interview, it was really great, but the CEO asked me something and he said, I should look at your phone. Can you show me your hands? So the mom showed his hands, it was kind of weird, but she showed his hands to, the, you know, to his daughter, uh, to his son, to her son, sorry. So... 
The sun actually. Hey, Hey, Rudy, can you see me, my man? Boom to you. Hey, man, I want to give a quick shout out to Charles and Santa up in Canada. They're, they say hello to them. But I want to show you our group. Group, let's give Rudy boom. Yeah, yeah, I show me. <laughs> We're just about to start boot camp here, my friend. Awesome. 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 You know, 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 you Exactly, my man. Exactly, my man. And gratitude is the key to everything. You start your day, you end your day with it, and when you do, you're on the right track to power yourself. Hey, here's Karen. Right, right. Boo, boo. Boo, baby, boo. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> this is live, and we're having fun. You can tell that. <laughs> I know. I, I know. I, know. I, can I can see that. that. That's yeah, awesome. That awesome. And I got my chemistry yeah, yeah, so. for school, too. Yeah, so. yeah. So. This conversation that I will do with the story I will tell you is actually the most important thing in the way that the story that I thought about young man when he went home and became his mom's head and why he was doing that, he saw so many things, he saw moves in his mom's head and, you know, his mom's head and, you know, carlos in his mom's head and, you know, his mom's head and literally crying. You know, he, was he, was, he was crying, and the lesson that he learned from that, when he came back, he was thinking of the next day for a complete interview. The CEO said, tell me what you learned. Tell me what you learned from cleaning your mom's hands. So he, 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 he said, I learned that I haven't had the left face to what I said, so it was a sacrifice that my mom would have made for me to become who I am today. You know, and, 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 and the CEO said, the CEO said, this is the kind of person that I want to be a manager of my organization, of my company, because I want you to be a person who doesn't look at money, but you actually value the input of other people to your life, and how you can contribute to the lives of those who actually matter to you within this organization, and that's how you're going to be a better manager in growing this organization. Wow, that is powerful, my friend. That is powerful. You know, I, 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 the, reason, the, reason, the reason why the reason why I really love to develop today because I was really thinking I went to this morning this morning, 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 morning came back I was really thinking about different conditions, different situations because there are times when people who actually sacrifice in their life, maybe they have some kind of information to those people they do do something to different things. And the thing that made us upset, you know, made you think about life that all the government is used to get them to do this. Absolutely. 
Thank you for doing that. I, I mean, I'm not sure what as you know what the situation might have been growing up with me, but I just want to say thank you. You know, because that actually opens door. That opens way for many good things to happen to you. That opens an opportunity for them to also express gratitude to you. Because guess what? As soon as you start appreciating other people, as soon as you start showing concern and love to other people, that concern and appreciation comes right back to you. That's what life is all about. That's what life is all about. I mean, that's one of the strongest lessons that I've learned from this story that I just, uh, that, that I, I just shared with you guys, you know. And also, when I called my mom, I spoke to my mom, and she was really, wow, wow. Wow, thank you so much for, you know, for really saying that. Yes, Peggy, exactly. Attitude of gratitude. That's what it is. You know, develop an attitude of gratitude. Because if you think about it, if you always think about problems and what people have done to you, what people have done that's bad, you never want to appreciate anybody. Because we, we go through life, we also have done things to other people. You know, the, not everything you do is right to other people. Sometimes they may look at it to be bad or whatever it is, but just develop an attitude of gratitude. Show consent to other people. Say thank you. You know, go out there to your folks, your family, even your kids. Call them and say thank you. I might, not, I might not have been the best mom or the best dad in the world, but I just want to thank you for always being here. I want to thank you for always challenging me, for making me become the best mom or for making me become the best dad of who I've become because of you. Because if you weren't here, I wouldn't have known my weaknesses. I wouldn't have been able to identify who I've become, but I just want to say thank you. You know, So that's what I really wanted to share with you guys today, and I really appreciate everyone that jumped in team for jumping in was um, we have Peggy and Bart my brother who were out there in the boot camp and he couldn't just resist but to jump in for a few minutes and I just want to say thank you guys so much for anyone who is watching this video you know we are doing a boomerang because it's an amazing opportunity for people to actually change their lives because that's what life's all about we look for an opportunity to help other people to change their lives because what we realize is Many people are not satisfied with whatever's going on in their lives and they really want to do something different. You know? So if somebody share this video with you, get back to the person and say, hey, tell me more about this type of boomerang thing. They're gonna provide you more information. And if you are watching me right now or if you're watching a replay of this and you really want to check out this boomerang thing, you really want to know like what's this thing all about? Tell put on the comment, tell me more. And we're gonna be able to like tell you more information about it. If you really want to say, hey, I, I look at this hyperbolic thing, I just want to check it out to see what's, what's going on, just say me, M-E, I'm going to give you, a, you know, a sample of the technology and send it to you and say, hey, check it out, know, know what's going on, and you're also able to make money and change your life because that's what it is. It's a life-changing experience. Thank you so much, Peggy, for always jumping in. We appreciate you as well. You know, Bart and I, we are committed to doing this because we know it has so much value in the lives of other people. So until then, I'm going to catch up with you guys tomorrow. Bart and I are going to be online. Um, it's going to be an amazing topic tomorrow. We don't want to share it yet, but it's going to be an amazing topic. Bart's going to give us experience. He's going to share with us his experience at the, um, the boot camp that he have today. And I can't wait to catch up with you guys tomorrow. Until then, boom. Enjoy the Saturday. <laughs>